this lab. I'm currently in the perceptual sciences branch where we focus on the visual perception and spatial perception of soldiers. What separates us from the rest of the labs and what makes us unique is that we are able to have a close relationship with CERDEC. CERDEC is the Communications Electronics Research Development and Engineering Center. This standing partnership, which has been in place for over 20 years through a technology program agreement, allows us access to the latest night vision goggle technology. I helped to develop and conduct research of human perception of night vision goggles. So that means we're trying to test how well a soldier can perceive depth or the distance between two objects in a scene. Soldiers, when they're on a mission at night, they want to be able to see clearly and effectively complete their mission. So what we're trying to do is actually determine their depth perception when using night vision goggles. What I did was with a team, we developed a binocular depth acuity device that allows us to test their binocular depth perception when using night vision goggles. So what is binocular depth perception? That is when you see the world in 3D. So what this means to the soldier he wants to be confident that when he puts on his night vision goggles, he's able to traverse terrain, so he's not tripping. He's allowed to see any hazards that may have come up. Either it be a depression in the ground that he's walking on, finding targets while at night, and distinguishing the difference between friend and foe. So right now we have binocular night vision goggles, which is a step up from what they previously used, which was the monocular night vision goggle. With the monocular night vision device, you had poor depth perception and the soldier was not able to accurately determine depressions in the scene or friend or foe at a distance. In the future, what we want to do is develop a technology that will allow the soldier to seamlessly change focus distance for something up close to something far away without having to use his hands. Now you have to constantly change the focus and he has to use both his hands first to hold the device then to change the focus. Having a hands-free device for the soldier performing nighttime operations allows him to perform other tasks such as keeping his weapon at ready. Here at the labs we normally conduct maybe two or three studies a year. If you take from the time that we actually develop and planning to actually constructing the research and actually performing the research experiments, it normally takes between three to six months. We normally produce the results in a technical report or in a presentation to be given to communities in the military. We want to make sure that they have that information to know whether or not it will be effective in fielding to all of their soldiers and to the Army as a whole.